Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video of Oblivion Tutorials. And in this character tutorial, we're going to tell you how to make a beast mode tank character. Now this is a character with a lot of health, a lot of damage, all in the physical category, nothing else. Let's get started. First of all, make sure you pick an orc. The orc is just the most beast looking character in the game. You're going to want him for the looks alone, but he's also got a lot of strength and stuff like that. So, to start with this character, you're going to be using the warrior star sign. I think that's pretty obvious if you're going to use a beast character. And make sure you level up endurance early on with this character. Okay. And speaking of endurance, your two attributes are going to be strength and endurance. Just more strength, more endurance. And your focus is going to be on combat because you're just going to beast mode kill everybody. Your skills for this character are going to be blunt. Heavy Armor, Armorer, Block, Alteration, sorry, Alteration, Restoration, and Athletics. I don't usually use Athletics, but for this character, we're going to use Athletics. Now, this character, you're going to have two options to use with them. You're either going to use a Mace and a Shield, or a Warhammer, or I think it's a bat, the two-handed one's a battle axe, I don't remember exactly. Preferably a Warhammer, because it's the most beast-looking weapon, just saying. But... With this character, you're just going to go full ham on everyone. Maximum power, maximum blunt, just boom, boom, all right? That's pretty simple. Now, the other three stats, athletics you need for fatigue regeneration, which will go into agility, which is the second attribute you want to level up after endurance and strength. But after agility, you're going to have two other skills. You're going to have restoration and alteration. Both of these skills are very important for this character. Restoration does a couple things. First of all, it heals you, which is deathly important for this kind of character. But it also gives you fortify skills. You can fortify your strength, fortify your speed, fortify whatever you need. Your skills or your attributes. So that way you have a little edge in combat, even more combat focus. And you're not going to need a lot of magic for this character, so you don't have to worry about the magic stats. You can also use alteration for protection spells which you might need against magic or you might need protection just to not take it like literally take the main boss like the hardest to fight enemy in this game use a protection spell so you take like one damage from him all right that's pretty cool i like it now with this character you're gonna have your blunt skill maxed out potential to disarm people potential to paralyze them all right this character is very physical so you're obviously gonna have a hard time against archers who are faster than you, and you're also going to have a hard time against mages, right? But that's simple. Because you can take so much damage, these characters aren't going to be a problem. You might kill them a bit slower, but they're going to kill you very, very slowly. For your armor enchantments, though, really, you can focus on two things. You can focus on the amount of damage you do, which is strength and endurance, Endurance is more help, like strength and blunt skill, honestly, that's all you got for damage. Or you can focus on protection, which is the overall protection spell, endurance, or really anything that has to do with, you know, maybe fire protection, shock protection, anything like that. Those are going to be your main things. Make sure you carry around a lot of repair hammers, by the way, because you're using heavy armor, you got to repair that all the time. But since this character is going to be slow, it is going to be tough in the beginning, but that's okay. Also, don't sneak around with this character. It, it sucks at sneaking. I mean, you might be able to sneak and get a couple hits in, but really, sneaking is not this character's forte. You're just going in guns blazing. And really, it's a very simple character. This character, by the way, I know we have, like, sword fighters, and I think this would be technically a barbarian. We're going to call this class the beast mode class, all right? This, like, barbarians are usually fast and hard hitting. This beast mode guy is a tank and hard hitting, all right? He's slow and has even more health than a barbarian. And really, that's it. There's nothing to explain with this character. You just go in, swing and block and kill people and they try to kill you and you don't get killed. Make sure you carry around some potions, by the way. You might need some for healing in case something goes wrong. But, I mean, it's a very simple character. And... I think and I have said enough about it. And if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion character builds. And you can support me on Patreon. I have the links in that uh, links for that in the description below too. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever I decide to make.